Okay, today's video is going to be about adjusting up and down the headlights. Not the pod light, that's really simple because there's just a single screw on this side um, with this hole here. So it's very easy to adjust, not a big deal. It's a little less clear how to adjust the headlights, which we're going to do today. I'm covering this headlight just because when I do the adjustment on this one, I want you to be able to see it. It's going to shine on the garage door. So first thing we need to find where the adjustment is, and that's what the challenge is all about because it's not as clear as it is on the pod light. So here's where the adjustment screw is. First thing is remove this really cheesy rubber clasp. Open the equally cheesy and allegedly dry storage. Polaris calls it dry storage, but as you can clearly see from all the splashing of mud, it's anything but dry. Anyway, the adjustment screw for the headlights on both sides. This one is here. Just pop this off. Pop off that rubber grommet. Obviously the other one is there. The process is the same. So it's inside and it's a torque. So you're going to want your Torx 20. It's a Torx 20 screw or bolt, whatever you want to call it, nut. It's in here, it's straight in, so you're gonna put your Torx 20 straight in. I'm gonna show you where it is and I'm gonna try and show you two ways. First, I'll try and show you via the camera this way. Um, I'm hoping you can see it in there. It's not easy to see through that little hole. So now we're gonna do it another way. I need to, I'm gonna turn on this headlamp. I'm going to shine it right in the hole because what I want to do now is, sorry for the focus. Now what I want to do is illuminate where it is in here. Uh, let's see if you can see it. There it is. It's shining right on it right now. You can just see it exposed right there. See that Torx? And you can see that there's a spring in front of it, in front of the clamp. So as you adjust that light, uh, by turning that Torx 20 head to the left, we'll raise it, to the right, we'll lower it. So let's go ahead and turn the lights on and we're gonna try that now. So I'm gonna need to get this thing out of the way in order to get my Torx 20 in there. Let's turn the machine on. Don't know what's up with my autofocus today. Um, let's turn the headlights on. Don't worry about my finger. I sliced it open when I was uh, replacing some gutters yesterday. Anyway, there's where the light pattern is right now. So now let's go ahead and slide our Torx 20 in there nice and straight. Let's see if we can find the nut. It's not abundantly easy. Let me just look down in here. And you can see where it is, and I'm trying to line up. Okay, so we want it to go. There we go, got it. So watch now. As I turn it to the right, you'll see this light drop a little bit. See, it's dropping ever so slowly as I turn it right, because I do want it to go down, because it's aimed a little too high. So as I turn it down, it's dropping just a little bit. You're going to have to twist it a lot. And that's just the right one again, because I wanted to um, cover the left one so that you could actually see it. So as I turn some more, it drops just a little bit. There's a lot of adjustments to be made, but that's it. That's where it is. Short video today, guys.